Hello and welcome to my next video. If you like it, please subscribe and like it below. That'd be absolutely brilliant. So today, what I'm going to do is show you how to do this card. So we have a resist technique going down the side here, and obviously the main image of the tree. Now, the reason I've chosen to do this particular card is sometimes we need a card to send which is not for a special occasion like birthdays, Christmas, anniversaries, all the rest, and all the rest of it. We just might want to send a card to say, you know, just thinking of you or it's just a note or you just want to send a card to arrange a dinner date or a meeting or something along those lines. Something that's less formal or, um, you know, that's not a special occasion. So hence why I've chosen to do this. And it's um, going to. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this panel, which is basically a resist technique and also how to do this tree um image on this card which is very straightforward nothing complicated and also it's nice to do um a non-complicated card which is just straightforward and so that's what i'm going to show you how to do today so what we need is a three and a half by three and a half which is nine centimeter nine centimeters by nine centimeters piece of square white card a panel which is measuring two inches by five inches or five by 13 centimeters and a five and three quarter card blank which measures 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters so that's your card blank put that to one side and let's deal with the panel first so something's just dropped on the floor there hey ho what we're going to do um, to get that effect on the panel, um, I'm going to use an ink up just the outside of the branches. You don't always necessarily use have to use the whole of the image. So I'm just going to ink up the outside of my tree. And this tree is taken from the orchard collection by chocolate baroque so um, again a very nice and versatile tree stamp ink uh, give your piece of card a dusting over with an anti-static bag or you could use a piece of some talcum some talcum powder brushed over with a brush Basically, all that does is any grease marks or what have you that's on the card will be removed. And where you stamp, that's where the embossing powder will stay or want to stick. So let's put our first one down. And again, just allow the ink to make contact with the piece of cardstock. Uh, looks pretty good. And again, I'm just going to ink up the edge of the stamp where the branches are and then move slightly further down. You can roughly see where I've stamped, where I've stamped, so because it does give a faint watercolour effect. So I'm just going to again ink up my stamp. Press down firmly and then we'll do a little bit at the bottom. I just might go in at an angle on this one. There we go. And then a little bit. On the other side, let me just go there like that. I'll put that to one side. And as many of you know me by now, um, clean the stamp. So it's 
ready to use. There we go, we've got a clean piece of coffee paper, put the stamp to one side because we will be using that again later. And then we just bring back our panel and I'm using Wow Super Fine Bright White Embossing Powder. So just sprinkle all, and because I've used Versafine, it does stay wet for a, a while. So you have got time to clean your stamp and put your embossing powder on. So, um, so there we go. So I'm quite happy with that. And then we're just going to put all this excess the back into the jar waste not want not that goes back into there lid back on put those back because we won't be needing them again bring in our heat gun and my little tool to hold my piece of work with there we go and we just heat set this and it should go a nice shiny white There we go. Don't know if you can see that. It's just beginning to go a nice shiny white down at the bottom there. So that's what we want all over. And as you can see at the top, it's slightly duller. It's not shiny, so that means it still need we still need to um, a little bit there melt this top bit. And once it's shiny, you know it's done, which we're just about to get to now. Just a little bit at the bottom. Cool, there we go. So what we have is a piece of card with all the branches on, all nice and shiny. So put all that to one side, get our little mat back in, put that to one side and bring in our Distress inks and I'm using bundled sage and forest moss. So get my applicator and with the bundled sage I am going to go completely all over the artwork all over the panel. So, with that that's quite nice so there we go we've got the bundled sage put down and as you can see it's resisted where we've stamped and embossed so I'm just going to get a clean pit of tissue ready to one side change my ink pad and I'm going to go over to that was um, bundled sage, probably mentioned that. So I'm now gonna go in with forest moss, which is slightly darker. And for this, I'm just going to go around the edge. Um, I don't need too much of it. Yeah, that'll do. 
do. That's lovely. So I still can see my first colour in the middle of the panel, which is obviously what I want. And then what I'm going to do now is quickly uh, put those to one side. There we go, we don't need those anymore. Let's get rid of that. So what I've got here is a um, piece of clean tissue. Now I'm just going to buff up a piece of artwork. And it just gets rid of the excess ink from the uh, embossed areas. And it just brings it up more white. So I don't know if you can see that, how white that's come up. Okay, so what we need to do now is just apply a little bit of double-sided to the back of your panel. Like so, on all four sides. There we go. And a little one along the bottom there. There we go. And then one just at the final side here. There we go. And get my little pokey tool. And just bring that off. There we go. Just fold that back over a little bit. There we go. And one more just at the top here. And fold that over. And then bring back in our card blank. And this will sit quite happily down the side. And you can hover and just place your panel where you want it. I mean, you can have it in the middle, you can have it to one side, you can have it on the bottom, there, whatever. So um, the choice is yours. So I'm just going to place it to one side, just from the edge like that. Press down firmly, and that is quite happy with that get rid of these little bits here bring back in our main stamp tree stamp and um, I'm just gonna make sure this is absolutely clean there we go a bit of tissue just dry it off and then bring my brush in give that a good clean and then, so the Versafine is Spanish Moss, which is a lovely green colour. So again, light taps all over the stamp. Down the trunk. And this time we're inking up the whole of the image. So um, just make sure you ink up the whole of the stamp. Light tapping all over ink pad back and then uh, bring in your piece of card and you can hover over your piece of card and get your stamp central of where you think you want to stamp where you want to stamp and then down and at this stage you don't want to move your stamp because you will get a blurred image and then just press firmly down and Again, as we've done before, make sure to give it time for the ink to make contact with the card stock. Lift off in one fell swoop. There we go. And I have a nice crisp tree image on my piece of card. So all we do now, and it more or less dries instantly. So turn it over, piece of card. Thank you.
double-sided along the four edges again. Again, if you want to, you can use foam pads just to raise it up a little bit and give it a little bit of depth to your um, card. Another long there. And that one along there. So we've got... There we go. Peel off the bits of the tape. And this is one of the cards I did for the TV shows last week with Chocolate for What when they were launching or um, putting on using the orchid stamps and this is one of the samples that i actually did for the tv show so um now you know how i did it so i'm just going to place and slightly overlap on the panel and place my tree image down square and evenly and there we go there is our finished card straightforward easy nothing too complicated and what you can also do if you want to if you've got some of the um other chocolate for rock stamps like for example you've got sow the seeds what i've done with the branches on the side here you can also use and use the leaf motif going down the panel as well and again, along the top here, you can use nature seeds, botanical. So you've got those words if you want to put along. And if you've got uh, just the note stamp or um, just to say stamp, that will fit nicely along the top there as well. And what we've got here, we've got um, the Mother Earth stamp set. You've got Earth. So again, that would look nice along the top there. You've also got Grow. Again, that will look nice along the top there. So you've got several different options there, but again, if you don't want to use any words, you don't have to. It's just a nice, simple, elegant card. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Again, like and subscribe below. That would be absolutely brilliant. And I will see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching.